the boy say so it's Pashis Kedoshim. Pashis Kedoshim, you know, we the, the, the parsha begins with Vedabe Hashem El Moshe Lema, Dabe Al Kulab Das Bene Yisrael Vomato Alehem, Kedoshim Tihu. Holy shall be. So Rashi says, Dabir al Kol Adaz bin Yisrael Malamed, She Parsha Zoi Nemra Bahakel. It was said to the entire assembly of the Jewish people, Mepnesha Roiv Gufei Torah Tluyimbo. Now, not clear if the rest of the Torah, there was no need that it should be said Bahakel, and it was enough that those that heard should. Transmitted to those that didn't hear directly from Moshe Rabbeinu. Maybe it means the women according to their aim. Or maybe it means that first Aaron heard, and then Bonov heard, and then this Canaan heard, and the entire Klal Yisrael only heard it one time. Or it was said in, uh, whereas over here, it was said Bahakel from start. But that's the way the rest of the Torah was taught. So why is it? That uh, so if it's Rav Gufei Torah Tluyimbo, this could also be said to whoever it said, and they should uh, give it over to those who haven't heard it from Moshe Rabbeinu. So what what what, what does it mean that since Rav Gufei Torah Tluyimbo, therefore it's Parsha Zunem Rabahakel? We also don't know what it means Rav Gufei Torah Tluyimbo. Doesn't mean that most of the mitzvahs are said in this Parsha. In Parshas Kiseitze, there are many more mitzvahs. What does it mean, Gufei Torah? The body of Torah is dependent on this Parsha. How is that? You know, the Pasik says, the Pasik says, Vishtet and Pasik, Kedoshim Tiyu, Ki Kodosh Ani Hashem Eloikeichem. So the Pasik is as of giving a reason. Because for holy, I am Hashem Eloikeichem, right? Kedoshim tiu ki kodosh. How is that in a sinus time that you should be kodosh because I'm kodosh? Um, on the other hand, in the midrash Rabbah on this pasuk, it says ki kodosh ani Hashem Eloikeichem. Zog the midrash yochel kamoini. You might think you should be as holy as I am. My Kedusha is above and beyond your Kedusha. How would we even think that the Kedoshim Tiyu should be Kamoini? Avada, it's impossible that the Nivra should uh, be like the boyre that why do we need the 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 the, the drosha that yokol kamoini talmud loimar ki kodesh ani kedushasi lamaylo mikdushaschem on the other hand we see that the Torah does say kedoshim to you ki kodesh ani would seem that there is some kind of a Shaykhis, there is a connection between the Gdusha of the Rabbi Shalom and the calling on us to be Kaddish. So what is the key about? It would seem that this is Shaykh to the general heel of V'halach to Bidrochov. We are M'chuyiv to emulate the Rabbi Shalom Kaviyochol. V'halach to Bidrochov. Mahu Chanun. Mahu Nikro Chanun. Af'ato Hayei Chanun. Mahu Nikro Rachum. Af'ato Hayei Rachum. We're called on to be uh, kind and compassionate, just like he is. We say, We are being asked to be like him. And that's what the Pasuk is saying. So we have a chiyuv. Being that we were created B'Tselem Eloi Kim, we were created in the image of the Rabbi Nishalayla, so we have the capacity, the ability, and the chiyuv to uh, live in a way that emulates his being a chanon and a rachum, etc. And so also, Kedoshim Tiyu Ki Kodesh Ani Hashem Eloi 
so, so, um, why are Chazal saying over here, Yochel Kamoini, Talmud Loima? So it would seem that the Chanan Varachum is yet Kamoini. It's only the Kedoshim that's not Kamoini. So it must be that we're never being asked to be Kamoini. Avada, it's a Pshita, it's, it's a, it's, it's self evident that, that we're not going to be as compassionate, as kind as the Rabbi Nishalel. Avada, it's not Kamoini. When we're saying over here, Yochel Kamoini, Talmud Loimani Hashem, obviously we're saying that it's not only that in measure we can't compare, but that the type of Kedusha that's being asked of us is not the same type of Kedusha that we are talking about when we say, Ki Kodosh Ani Hashem Aloykechem. It's 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 a different it's a different quality. So what is this about? So you know kedoshim to you. It says in the Torah's koyanim that it means prushim to you. What's precious? The Ramban is marich that it means uh, not to indulge in pleasure, even in dvarim hamutorim. As the Ramban says that one could be could keep all the halachas and nevertheless be a novel. And the Tzivuy of Kedoshim to you is, is to be Misrachik uh, from Anois and Tanugim. No, so this is Bechlal Natshayik by the Rabbi Nishalalim. I mean, the, 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 the Precious is the Bechlal Natshayik by the Rabbi Nishalalim. So what do we Bechlal need to say? Yochel Komoini, Talmud Loimani Hashem. What is that about? So, Reb Shimon Shkop in the Hagdama to the Shara Yosher he says that really Kedusha means dedication, commitment. Like when one is makdish, a behema lemezbeach, hektish means dedication. So when we're called on to be Kedoshim, it means that uh, we should have single-minded dedication. The precious from Tanugim is only necessary in order to facilitate our our being totally dedicated. In order to totally focus on our mission, we have to not indulge in Hanois because that indulgence is a distraction from our mission. But the meaning of Kedoshim, the essence of Kedusha is dedication, not precious. The precious is necessary in order that we be fully dedicated. You know, we say every day, malkeinu v'goyaleinu Who are the Kedoshim? The Abudraham says, those are the Malachim, the angels, as it says in Daniel, the Eshmo Echod Kodosh. So why are Malachim referred to as Kedoshim? You know, why are Malachim called Malachim? Really, Malach means a Shaliyah, means a messenger. When Rashi wants to say that we're talking about angels, he says malachim mamish. But typically, a malach means a shliach, like it says in Parshas Chukas, Vayishlach Moshe malachim mikodesh el melech edon. So, so why are we? Why do we refer to angels as a malach? Why is a stam malach an angel? Because he's the ultimate shliach. Yeah, he's the quintessential shliach. The malach is completely. Totally, just the shlichus. A malach is named according to his shlichus, according to his mission. Because he's totally identified with his mission. That's why a malach can't do two shlichus. He's just the shlichus. And therefore, a malach is called a kodosh. Yeah? A malach is called a kodosh, kodosh because he's totally dedicated to his mission. Anyway, that's an aside. So Rav Shimon says that when it says Kedoshim Tiu Ki Kodesh Ani, it's not referring to the precious that we should uh, emulate the Rabbi Shalom in, in the sense of precious because precious is not shayed by the Rabbi Shalom. But it means total dedication to carrying out our mission. And, and this is what the Medrash now is saying. Yogol Komoini, Tamud Loimani Hashem Alekechim, Dushasi Lamailami Kedushaschem. 
Not only that in measure, we can't reach that level of single-minded focus, commitment, and dedication that the Rabbi Shalom has, but Be'emes, the type of Kedusha, the type of dedication is a different type, not like Rachum, Vechanon, and those things that are the same type, it's just a smaller measure. Here the Kedusha is not the same Kedusha, it's not the same type of dedication. Because by the Rabbi Nishalom, there's no self-interest. And the Mela, everything he does is for the cause. There's no self-interest. But a person can't and doesn't need to be and shouldn't be selfless. And I'll read to you his Lashen. It's really very beautiful. He says, If somebody wants to break his nature, to reach a high level. That he shouldn't have any self-interest. Yeah, he wants to be completely altruistic. Yeah, he says, He wants to reach that Kedusha of Habayri Yisbarach, Sheritzoyna Yisbarach B'chol Abriya, Ban Hogas HaOilom, is rak lahetiv l'nivroi. That's all the Rebbe Yisholom, that's all his interest. V'loy la'atzmoi Yisbarach Klalu Klal. He has no self-interest. See, he says, Bashkafer Yishoyna, at first glance, Hoya Ef Shiloyma, we would maybe say, Shem Yagiya HaOdam L'Madrei Gezu, that if a person will reach this level, that he totally uprooted his 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 self interest. Yagiel atachlus hashlemus. That's that's the highest madrig. V'lachain hoyru lanu chazal ba midrash hazeh sheloy kenu. Chazal are teaching us no. That's the kikodesh ani. That's lemaylo mikdush aschem. That's not expected of you bechlal. She ain lanu lehistadel lehidomois likdushas haboyra yisborech betzadze. We shouldn't strive, we shouldn't try to be totally devoid of self-interest. He's totally dedicated to the Nevroim and V'loy La'atzmai. Sh'loy ni toisif, V'loy yi toisif, Sh'um yi soroin la'haboyre, Al yidei ma'asof she'yasev oise. He doesn't add anything to himself, Kaviyochul. V'chol ritzoy no'i rak la'hetev la'nevroim. What the Rabbi Shalom wants from us. It's not this way. Your life comes first. Yeah, Chazal that what you don't want others should do unto you, you shouldn't do unto others. But they didn't teach it in the positive sense. He says that's a remez. That one should 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 be makdim toivasatsman. And he says another thing. Nota haboyre yisborech boy chukas ahavas atzmoi b'midah g'dolomoi. Hakadosh Baruch Hu instilled in us that instinct of 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 of, of that survival instinct and that really that self interest b'midah g'dolomoi avas atzmoi. Shehari onru chach me oemes b'matoras kol avoyde. The Mekubalim say he's quoting the Moshe Chaim Lutzato in the Kuf Lamed Ches. Uh, that he says that the, the that that the whole idea of avoida in this world is because the Rebbe Shalom wants to be native to us, but if we would be given reward without our avoida, if we would be given toiva without our avoida. So that's what the Yerushalmi refers to as the Hamadich Sufa, uh, a bread of embarrassment that somebody who receives handouts 
is embarrassed to look in the face of his benefactor. And therefore the Rabbi Shalom gave us the opportunity to serve him in order that his hatava should be, not be Nahamad Sufa. So Rib Shimon is saying that obviously, I mean, the Rabbi Shalom could have created man in a way that he should be happy to get handouts. So you see that the Rabbi Shalom, that's is, is part and parcel of, of the Kavana Sabriya is that man was created in a way that he shouldn't want to take handouts, that he should want to be self-achieving and self-accomplishing. That's 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 an inherent part of who we are. So he says, the Indian Zemavhil, how much a person is in love with himself. The Gemara says, but over here it says Yibshim, and you see. That a person wants to have the kav sheloi, the little bit that he can earn, he wants that more than yoisem mikavin sheinosein loy af miyada kodesh baruchu im yemat naschem. He prefers that little kav sheloi more than all the tovah that the rabbi shalom could give him. Mizem moving from this, we can understand she mitas avas atzmoi he ritzuyo beinei kodesh baruchu. That avas atzmoi is something that's appropriate and that's. That's good, and that the Rebbeinu Shalom considers this a midah ritzuya. And he says, "Rakchit sadikim yelchu ba poishim yikoshlu ba." It depends in what way you use that, as we will explain. Now he says like this: "The the hine im ba hashkafer yishoyna." At first glance, rikshay avas atzmoi v'rikshay avas ulos. Say the feelings of self love and loving others. They compete with, with each other. Our, our mission is to find how Avas Atzmoy and Avas Acherim really becomes one thing. And Avas Acherim is an outgrowth of Avas Atzmoy. Hashem wants us to love ourselves and to love others. Who is myself? See, this is how a person's madrega is measured. How he perceives his self. He says, How is a lowly person? He identifies himself as his body. That his self is murkav miguf and nefesh. It's not only a guf, it's also a nefesh. His sense of self encompasses mishpachtoy ubnei beisoy. So he enlarged his self. And then he continues and he says, A person that, that, that is seeking shlemus needs to instill in himself the feeling that the entire universe is, is really myself. He's just an Ava cotton in the in the Bria. He's just an Ava cotton in the Bria. Then, as an outgrowth of his self love, he loves the entire Bria because he doesn't see his self as the as the the, the 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 tiny little self the, of, of himself, but he sees himself in the real sense as part of the entire Bria. And now he says something fascinating. He says, mm-hmm. If I'm not for myself, who will be for me? But if I'm for myself, what am I? So he says, 
First and foremost, the person should worry about himself. If if he sees himself only as his tiny little self, then money. He says, But if you'll really feel who the the real Ani is, yeah, not the Ani La'atzmi, but the Ani that's not La'atzmi, the, 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 the bigger Ani, then he'll 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 actually be the 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 be mekayim the me'ain anili mili in the in the right way, meaning that avodas Hashem is not about self negation. It's really about self actualization. Self denial goes against the basic nature of any being. Yes, yeah, so it's unrealistic. It's unreal. It's unhealthy and it's unproductive. Self interest is really the core of of what we are. We should be striving for self-realization. I mean, that's why we have the Marshall. You see, Aniyecho, Vaniye Ircho, Aniyecho Koidman. The Gemara says in Bava Metziah, the Fayyan Aleph. Rashi says, Aniyecho is Kroivov, who bene Mishpachtoi. They come first. Yeah, if a person <laughs> it wants to be on the Madrega where he's kind, dafke to others, that's the kindness of self-negation. That's the kindness that's not connected b'chlal, to the ani. A person has to first, his first kindness should be expressed to ani yecha. Then come ani yecha. Then come ani yecheres. Ani yecha, ani yecheres, ani yecha koidmen. And the first, first and foremost is chayecha koidmen l'chayecha v'echa. You know, they say from the Chidushi Arim that the Chidushi Arim said that, you know, a Korov is Pasolaitis. So, uh, Korov is Pasolaitis. We understand that if he's saying Aidus in defense of his relative, so he's Pasolaitis because, you know, he's Negebed of her. He probably, he, he might not be saying the truth. He's just trying to defend his relative. But why is a Korov puzzle to Aidus even when he's going against his relative? So they say that he said that letoivosoi is a kanedenish, leraosoi is a kamenshnish. Yeah. So in other words, so so that that we 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 we're not against that basic feeling that a person should have letoivosoi. Uh, you know, it's like it's like saying somebody <clears throat> if two people are drowning. And I have the option of saving only one, and one of them happens to be my wife, and I and I and I consult some uh, moral ethical code in order to figure out who should I save first. So that means that we have no relationship at all. In other words, that's not something that is a question. That that that's part of the chayat hakodesh. That's that in in other words, so so that's the, the Yesoid that 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 the uh, the 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 giving to others is not about negating yourself, but rather extending the self. The 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 realization that what's essentially me is much greater than me. Yeah, not not to perceive ourselves as an isolated fragment. Yeah, the anila atzmi. But as an indispensable part of the divine project, and this is Bemis also in Egea, you know, to the the uh, people that in in their uh, delusional mind, the universalist and cosmopolitan, and to them it feels like uh, 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 caring more about uh, Yidin is uh, is like parochial and it's it's it's, it's regressive and it's it's, it's small mindedness. But 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 the emphasis is the emphasis is that people like that I mean the unhinged, unhinged, because that has to do with the kedushasi lemaylo mikedushaschem. Chazal say yochol kamoini kedushasi lemaylo mikedushaschem. That's misguided, misguided hatova, uh, misguided chesed. I mean, a person has to start with chayecha koidmin, then aniyecha, aniyecha, aniyecha koidmin. 
then I need Ircha, I need Iracheres, I need Ircha Koigman, and that's how a person's Ani grows out of the Ani Laatzmi, grows out of the Ani Laatzmi, and comes to encompass, you know, so much more. Anyway, I wish you all a good Shabbos.